it's time for the greatest athleticism you've ever seen in your life. The professionals are quaking in their boots. With the many videos out there of people that excel in their sport, there's a series as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. Welcome to the fourth and final week for the month of February 2020's edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling. It comes to you from Brian's Bolo Gad Gadnahay, Massachusetts. And we are bowling on the very same lane we debuted this on. Oddly enough, it was a, I forget if it was live or recorded, but me versus my father. And long before, long before, well, not long before Watch Me Suck at Bowling actually showed off this place, lane number three, it's where it happened. So we've done pretty good, you know what this means. We got a 91 and one, 88 and two, the 107 and three. So that means a game in the 70s or worse coming up. Will that happen? We'll find out after I tell you that. You watch me suck at bowling is proud to sponsor hit Cannabin TV show, King of the Palace. Type King of the Palace in the YouTube search bar and watch the arts content. If you like what you see, go to youtube.com slash new palace lanes. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to see new videos as they come along. And now, the great collapse, or during the live stream, which is done after these. Where will it happen? Last game, frame one ball one. start of the series for February, at least a 10. And for those of you who like the pin setters, here's the Bullmore in action. And there you go. Frame two, bone one. Perfect. Spare. So far, not the big letdown. We got a ten and one. Spare and two. So far, we have twenty. But I'll still get a bonus ball to come. Perfect. In candle pin, if you can get at least a 10 or higher in any frame throughout the game, it is a perfect game. A minimum score of 100 for a perfect game was achieved last summer. 245 by Ralph Sem and Chris Sargent for the world record. So no 300's ever been done. And it wasn't a perfect game with uh, Sargent. So let's see if we can keep it going. Frame three, ball one. Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? We finally got some decent ones, although for the spares, just that. Decent. This is even worse. Good news is it's a six fill. Bad news is it's that. Ball two going for the ten. Ball three, goodbye, perfect game. Hello, curse of the moon. Curse of the Fill indeed, that's only a six. Frame four, ball one. Ball 
small too. That's a bit tough. We can hit the V. Six in three, which is the fill for the spare from the first ball. And the 10 in four, which brings us to 42. Frame five by one. Two perfect setup, but can I do it? Ball three, too far to the right. Those two frames are pretty decent. Nine, eight, and five, nine, and six. We are at fifty-nine. Frame seven, ball one. Like I said, every once in a while, some obvious piece of music is heard from Brian's TV, so this part's muted. Ball two. Far left, but it ball one, El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? So far, anything that was decent was a horrible leave. Not enough momentum here, Brian's. A good nine. Pin is nice and fat for another spare. Well, this should be an easy spare, since there's a big plank leaning up against the kingpin. Two in a row with authority. Well, this looks like we're going against the grain, and the last game will actually be a good one. We got a spare and seven. And then a spare again in eight. First ball knocking down the first nine. We are at 88 with El Stinko. Frame nine ball one. El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will this one be? Can we have that many with a good fill and a leaf? Just need 12 points total to hit three digits. Well, that was asking for way too much now, wasn't it? Al Stinko totally sucked with one. Ball two. Ball three. Uh -oh. This is where the great collapse happens. Stink free with three. Last frame, ball one. I think this might be the great collapse. Ball two. It's a good 
good game at least. And the great collapse ends at a five. I told you there was a big disappointment coming. It always happens on the last game. And started from frame eight. We got the spare, which was good, but frame nine, we only got a three, and the first pin falling was all we got. And then a five, just to make matters worse, and 10. But we did manage to squeak out a 97, thanks to a strong, somewhat strong back half, and that'll be that. And that is February 20, 21st edition of Watch Me Suck It Bowling from Brian's Bowlway, Gardner, Massachusetts. Places where I can go are very limited at the moment, so there isn't going to be much variety. So until things get better this year, this is George F. 55 saying, hope you enjoyed, have a good one, and see if we're going to be anywhere next month.